An orientation seminar on the proposed anti-discrimination bill was attended by 80 females, 70 males, and 50 members of the LGBT. What is the ratio between LGBT and non-LGBT? At ito ay isa sa mga nandito na sinisend sa ating, isa sa ating mga followers. So, kung nakikita nyo dito, yan yung mga number series which is na-upload na natin yan. So, tingnan nyo lang yung mga previous na videos natin. At isa dito, itong ratio na ito. Bago natin sagutan, doon muna tayo sa mga pinakasimpleng ratio. Ratio. Halimbawa. Meron tayong 30 is to 10. Ito ay kailangan nating simplify by finding the greatest common factor. Now, para sa pinakadetalye kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor, mas magandang isearch nyo. Greatest common factor at idugtong yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out. Yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa paghahanap ng greatest common factor. Kasi maraming paraan kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor at kayo na mamili kung saan kayo hiya. Now, ang greatest common factor dito sa 30 at 10 ay 10. So, therefore, 30 divided by 10, that is 3. 10 divided by 10, and this is 1. So, ito na yung pinakasimplified, ito na yung ratio. Isa pang example. We have... 25 is to 15. Now, ang greatest common factor dyan ay 5. 25 divided by 5 and that is 5. 15 divided by 5 and this is 3. So, ito na yung ratio 5 is to 3. Isa pang example. We have 24 is to 18 is to 12. Ang greatest common factor dito ay 6. 24 divided by 6 and this is 4. 18 divided by 6 and this is 3. 12 divided by 6 and this is 2. So therefore, ang ratio dito sa 24 is to 18 and is to 12 ay itong 4 is to 3 is to 2. Now, sagutan na natin itong question na nandito. Sa actual na exam, oras yung kalaban nyo. So, therefore, pwede namang hindi nyo na basahin yan. Dito na lang, yung nag-attend, meron tayong 80 na females at 70 na males. Female, 80. Males, 70. At meron tayong LGBT. LGBT na 50. Now, yung tanong, what is the ratio between LGBT, so yung tanong ay LGBT and non-LGBT. So, nasa rightmost yung non-LGBT. Yung LGBT ay merong 50 members. Yung non-LGBT, again, Yung non-LGBT, yan yung nasa pangalawa. Yung non-LGBT ay itong dalawa. So, 80 plus 70, this will give us 150. So, therefore, we have 150. Now, itong ratio natin na 50 is to 150, hanapan lang ng greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor dito ay 50. Therefore, 50 divided by 50, and that is 1. 150 divided by 50, and this is 3. So, ito na yung ratio. 1 is to 3. Kaya ang sagot dito ay itong letter D. Ma'am, bakit hindi itong letter A ay yung sagot? Itong 3 is to 1. Ito ba? Bakit hindi yan yung sagot? Tingnan natin yung tanong. Balikan natin yung tanong. What is the ratio between LGBT? Unahin natin isulat itong LGBT. Between LGBT and non-LGBT. 
ang LGBT, 50 members daw, tapos yung non-LGBT ay itong 80 females and 70 males. 80 plus 70, that is 150. Ang gagawin natin, hanapan natin ang greatest common factor. Yan at ang greatest common factor ay 50. 50 divided by 50 and this is 1. 150 divided by 50 and this is 3. Kaya ito na yung ratio. 1 is to 3. By the way, hindi porket ang nandito ay PNP in trans exam ito. Wala nang kahalintulad nito sa mismong ibang exam gaya ng civil service exam, yung college entrance test. Tandaan, ito ay regarding sa ratio. Meron at merong kahalintulad nito sa mismong civil service exam, sa college entrance test, or kung anumang exam yan na merong mathematics. Thank you and God bless.